I stay in, I just wanna play. In the party, he just wanna play. In the party, he just wanna play. All right, y'all, it is a little bit later and I'm just getting ready because we're about to go and grab pizza for the boys. It is Super Bowl Sunday and I figured I would let them have pizza. I'm gonna come back home and I'm gonna make like some little like finger foods too, like wings and all that type of stuff. But it's a nice day, so yeah, I figured we go out and get pizza. And the pizza place we're going to um, right now for Valentine's Day, they're doing like the heart-shaped pizza, so I thought that would be cute for them. So we're gonna go and get pizza. So I'm just getting ready. I am basically done. I'm dressed. I just need to spray some fragrance. I'm gonna wear my blooming bouquet today because it is a nice sunny day. And yeah, so I'm just wearing this Nike cardigan. It's like in this cream color and black bodysuit from Target. I got this a while ago. It's just a ribbed uh, bodysuit. If I can find it, I'll link it for you guys. And then just a pair of tennis shoes. And that's it. Oh, I'm gonna wear my silver Antigona because there's like silver in my shoes. So I thought that would be cute, but yeah, super casual perfect for just like a little pizza dinner and yeah so let me go because they're waiting on me and I'll check back in with you guys probably when we get back home all right Hey everyone, so it is the Monday after Super Bowl Sunday. Um, of course, we had us a nice little small family Super Bowl party uh, with the kids, of course. That was fun. But yeah, now it's Monday. I've just been tidying up, doing laundry, because like all my Sunday like chores that I usually do, I kind of put them off. Just because we had a fun weekend. We were out a lot this weekend, just hanging out because the weather was so nice. I keep saying the weather was so nice. Like anything over 40 here is like nice weather. But yeah, we had a few outings. Yeah, Seth had a basketball game. And then Saturday, we all went out to eat. And then yesterday, we all went and got pizza. We ended up bringing the pizza back home. Um, just because we were cutting it close to when the game started. So we just brought it back home. And I cooked some wings and did a little veggie spread. You guys saw. Yeah, that was it. We had fun. The kids had fun. And yeah, now we are back to business as usual. Now, however, I did not go and work out because I had to make a mom stop and get Valentine's for Sefton's Valentine's Day class party they are actually doing their valentine's day classroom party tomorrow instead of wednesday because it's ash wednesday i don't know if you guys know that but Sefton goes to a catholic school so because it's ash wednesday they're not doing any um, any valentine's day themed things so yeah i had to go and grab valentine's now fortunately for me my son is at the age where all the little cutesy stuff that I used to do for him for preschool and kindergarten, and even all the way up to like second grade, he doesn't care about that stuff. This year, we just going with old school Valentine. And I love that for me because, I mean, growing up, this is all I was doing was just getting those little paper, you put your friend's name on it, put it from you, fold it, put the little sticker on it, put it in a little envelope cute right so i'm happy that he's like very specific about what he wants for his friends and his class and i get exactly what he wants and he chose these now he chose the gummy bands uh these are the spider-man gummy bands I guess they're like little wristband gummies i don't know but i thought it was pretty cool it's something different but i saw these two the gummy rings 
And there are 22 kids in his class. This, you get 22 in this one, and you get 20 in this one. So I figured for the girls, maybe he'll want to give some of his girl valentines the ring because girls don't necessarily like want a wristband not all girls want wristbands and you know a girl might want a ring so i wanted to have options or a boy might want a ring so i just wanted to have options for him so i stopped and got valentines for sefton which led to me buying other things household items i just got like laundry stuff and that cut into my workout time so i probably work out later this afternoon i made me a little yogurt parfait with some raspberries and blueberries how cute are these little heart raspberry like like how cute is that so i made me a little yogurt parfait and it's just yogurt granola raspberries blueberries and i just drizzle honey on it my usual parfait that i do and i made me an iced coffee so that's what i'm doing right now i am in the middle of editing so i'll probably spend the next hour hour and a half doing this and then it'll be time for me to go pick up Seth from school but yeah i just wanted to check in and say hi to you guys happy monday don't know when this vlog is going up i'm hopefully it'll go up today you guys know i don't have a i don't have a schedule for my videos just know that you at least get one video a week <laughs> what day i don't know because i am a full-time mother and being a mom to small kids while being a vlogger can be challenging especially when your kids aren't your content now if you are a family vlog vlogger and your kids are part of your content it's easier now when i say busy i just mean busy in terms of doing all the mom things that i do i'm not too busy to vlog because obviously this is what i do it just becomes challenging because i have a really short window of time where i can just have one-on-one -on -one time with you guys and just talk to y'all and just get out everything that i want to get out share everything that i want to share before i have to shift back into mommy mode so that's all i'm saying so yeah i just vlog what i can when i can and that's that so i'm gonna go finish editing so i can attempt to get this a vlog up to you guys yeah this is where i'll be for the next hour and a half all right bye hey everyone so it is a couple days later we just got back in from swim lessons and i thought i would share with you guys some packages that i just got in i received i have to do this in hurry because i am taking the boys to there's a disney exhibition here right now and I'm taking the boys um this afternoon so pj is napping right now but as soon as he wakes up from his nap then we're gonna head over um also yesterday i took the boys out to dinner for early valentine's day a little dinner too we went to pinstripe i let seth pick he loves pinstripe so he picked the restaurant and i made the reservation for us to go but yeah so i did get a package in from sephora um i don't know if you guys remember but in my last vlog i shared with you all that i was going to be ordering the summer friday new uh lip oil and so i got the one that i thought i would like the best in a soft mauve packaging is really nice it's like this frosty glass or plastic and there's the color let's see so I'm gonna put this in my purse and take it with me and see how it wears but like I said everyone who everyone has been saying so many good things about this so I thought I would try one and if I like it then I'll order more but the one the other one that I wanted pink cloud it was sold out so I just got that one this is from Amazon I am redoing my little coffee area here 
and I wanted to get another dispenser for my uh, coffee syrups. But Crate and Barrel or CB2, they don't carry this one anymore. So I went on Amazon and I think I found a dupe for it. I hope, I hope that it is the same one that I have because if not, then I'm gonna have to just start over and just get a different one. And then what I'll end up doing is probably just using that for actual olive oil. And I'll just get a matching set for my syrup dispensers because I love the dispenser, but I'm so upset that um, CB2 discontinued it. So, yeah, and I don't know this. Hold on, let's see. So, let me take this. So this, this is the one from CB2 <laughs> and I can already tell this is not the same. And this is the one that I ordered from Amazon and they are very similar, but this one, the spout on this one is larger. So what I'm gonna end up doing is just ordering another one like this because while they are similar, this one is definitely larger than this one. So, so yeah, it'll fit, but yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna order another one like this off Amazon. That way I have two matching ones for my syrups. I'm gonna put um, vanilla in one and then, the, and then the salted caramel. I'm gonna put that in the other one. Sorry if y'all can hear the dryer going. I just put our swim stuff out the wash and put it in the dryer. So if you hear the dryer going, I don't know what yeah. That's what I got from Amazon. I'll leave these linked below for you guys if you want to check them out. But yeah, it's a it's a great dupe for the one um, from Crate and Barrel. However, it's just larger in size. So we'll go ahead and order another one of those. It came overnight through Prime, so not a big deal. What else? Yeah, that's it. So. I am going to pick up around here because I got a mess going from me just taking pictures and things like that and posting on Instagram. And then we are going to head to the Disney exhibition and that's what we're doing this afternoon. So yeah, that is what I got going on right now. I will bring you guys with us to the exhibition and show you guys around and let me go and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. All right, bye. Last time I talked to you guys, we were headed to the Disney 100 exhibition, which was so much fun. If you are in the Chicago area, I definitely recommend checking it out. It was really, really nice. Both boys thoroughly enjoyed it. So yeah, it was so much fun. I think it's only in Chicago and London and maybe one other city. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's so worth it. It was really, really nice. I did get a mug <laughs> from the little gift shop. Did I need this mug? No, but I just wanted a souvenir. Um, and I love these type of mugs, these like heavy duty big mugs. So I got this and it says Disney 100, the exhibition on the back. Seth then got a sweatshirt and some like comic sticker book. 
and PJ got a little Spider-Man toy, but yeah, it was really, really fun. So that is that. My new dispenser came in. So, <laughs> yes, my new. So now I have a set. So I will go ahead and get this one cleaned and filled with syrup. I also got some more labels because I can't find my labels. So I just ordered a new pack, but they're just the labels for your syrups. Um, so. So yeah, I'll leave these linked below if you guys want to get some labels to label your dispensers. But this is the one that I need for this one. So I'm going to add that one and add the syrup. Also, got coffees. I went to Nespresso earlier today. And I got the Vivita capsules. These are the capsules with B12. I love these. These are the perfect like morning workout pre-workout <laughs> capsules for me um i've said before i don't do pre-workout but i like the b12 capsules for my morning coffee so i got another of those and then i got the limited edition what is this limited edition the hazelnut flavor and i got the limited edition the raspberry the raspberry flavor so so yeah those are the coffees that i got so i'll add those in a little bit i got new coffee cups because i just needed to get the disposable coffee cups because i am always leaving my mugs and stuff in the car and So you get the cup and the lid. I think you get 50 in here. Yeah, 50 pack. And I went with just white, but I got the white with the like, I don't know if they're like ribbed or what. I just like textured cups for coffee. So we got the lid. Here are the cups that I got. And you guys can see like they are like ribbed. So just white cup, white lid. These are the 16 ounce. Yeah, 16 ounce cups. So now I have cups for my morning coffee. And I don't have to keep taking my cups out of the house. Also got some plastic cups for my iced coffee. Um, so while I was looking, for cups, I saw these cups that had a unique shape, and I was like, oh, those are cool. So I ordered these. Yeah, empty. Yeah, it's nothing in there. So, as you can see, it's like dome shaped. So, here are my new cups, and I think they're so cute and different. I can't wait to make my iced coffee in here. And. I just have my own straws. You can use whatever kind of straw you want, but I just have these white flexi straws. And I just thought those were so cute. I don't know what size Whoa. these are. Oh, these are 16 Whoa. ounce too. So yeah, Whoa. when I make my iced coffee this afternoon, I'll show it to you guys so you can see how it looks in the cup. But how cute is that shape? I love that so much. It's so cute and it's like so fun to hold. Y'all know. I take my coffee experience very, very seriously. So, yeah, we got new cups and lids for our coffees because making coffee at home always makes me happy and having cute cups. So, yeah, these are my new cups. All right guys, so I am about to do my scalp serum. Necessary the scalp serum because I have a hair appointment 
tomorrow morning and I like to do my scalp treatments before my appointments so my appointment is bright and early in the morning I'm gonna do this real quick also speaking of necessary right now they are doing uh, the next serum gift with purchase if you go to the necessary website I do also have a discount code to necessary that I'll leave below too so that you guys can use that We're gonna take me a nice hot shower and relax for the evening. It's so oily from like working out. And just needs a really good shampoo. So I'm looking forward to her getting her hands in my head and giving me a really good shampoo. Just gonna put it back in a bun. Just use my little satin, satin haircut. And just let that marinate on my scalp. I do tend to overdo this, especially when I know I'm getting my hair done. Because this is like a water base, so it causes my hair to revert back. <laughs> and like, I can already feel it like reverting back. It's so funny. It's starting to like wave up. So, yeah. That is my little scalp routine before my salon visit. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on my next one.